I'm Pete Secor with Evergreen Telemetry. This is Byron Seed of Arizona Air Balance. We're going to demonstrate how the risk reporter helps with damper setting in an environment where a two-man team is working. Without the risk reporter, there winds up being sometimes shouting, sometimes interrupting other people that are working in the area. Sometimes there are loud noises if there are construction trades working in the area, there are, some, there are loud noises. Sometimes the, the damper that needs to be set is in a different room from the, from the diffuser. This is going to demonstrate how the risk recorder can eliminate some of those obstacles, can speed up the, the process, and can make it more accurate. As before, we're using a short ridge air data multimeter. It's mounted on the flow hood. The risk recorder dongle is connected to the short ridge. The short ridge is performing the measurement and the measurement is being sent wirelessly to the risk reporter. So the risk reporter can be several feet distant. In this case, we're going to be adjusting a damper for a diffuser above me on an 11 foot ceiling. The damper for this particular diffuser is about 20 feet away and it's on a ceiling that's about 13 feet high. Uh, Byron is going to be uh, doing the damper adjustment while I attempt to hold the flow hood steady on the ceiling damper above. 294, 301, 288, 306. While I'm looking for 250, that's the design for that diffuser. Pete's 30 feet away. This is traditionally what happens and how it's done. We yell back and forth until we achieve the result that we need. And that's if I'm fortunate enough to have a helper. Now, with the wrist reporter, I can see his readings, which are being streamed wirelessly in real time straight to my wrist. Not only do I see the readings, but I see if it's an uncorrected or a corrected reading, so we don't even have that debate back and forth. This is extremely advantageous in an occupied building where we may have accountants or other people trying to work with their own numbers. Now we're not yelling above their heads back and forth. An added benefit is on an active construction site. We may have multiple tradesmen down below us uh, making quite a bit of noise where it makes it difficult for Pete and I to communicate. Once again, I'm looking for 250 CFM. 280, 260, 245, spot on. The wrist reporter makes it possible to have an alternate mounting of the short ridge ADM. This is for cases where many, many readings uh, must be made. And by the end of the day, this flow hood with the short ridge meter attached begins to feel awfully heavy. There begins to be a strain around the neck and shoulders. An alternate way with the, using the wrist recorder is to mount the short ridge meter on the hip. Using the Velgrid tubes instead of the normal flow hood tubes. That way the weight of the flow hood is reduced by 30%. It is much easier to handle and much easier to hold in place for a good seal. So here we are in our final readings. We've got the three pound air data multimeter clipped to my belt loops, saving a lot of weight, actually reducing the weight of the flow hood by about 30%. That's going to make it a lot easier to position accurately and maintain a good seal. Added benefit of the wrist reporter is you can affix it to either arm, whatever position you like that works for you. I've got it in such a way that I've got good, clear view of the display as a supporting role, such as this, as a steadying situation if I'm on a tall ladder, you can still see the display quite clearly, or if I was holding the flow hood with the traditional handle. They uh, can take an uncorrected reading, 235 CFM, go ahead and correct that reading. 255 CFM. At the end of the day, I'm going to have a lot less tension and strain in my shoulders, my neck, 